Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make a car coming out of ground effect really quick and easy. First what we have to do is, go to tracker and click on track camera. Once the analyzing is done, scroll the video to find the best tracking points, I will select some of them on the ground for a perfect perspective, now right click and select, create solid and camera. Nice, track solid is tracked perfectly, now you can toggle off track solid and let's bring ground collapse footage here. Link it to track solid and enable 3D on ground collapse layer. Let's position it, change X, Y and Z rotations and scale it as much as you want. Let's check it if it's tracked perfectly. In my case it's moving when I play back the video, let's quick fix it. Toggle on track solid layer again, now move collapse layer where solid is. Let's check it now. Nice, now my footage is tracked and I'm happy with it. Let's toggle off solid again. Once we have a nice track ground collapse effect, we can begin making animation of a car coming out of it. First of all we should remove car from a background. Duplicate your video and rename it to clean. Now go to effects tab and delete 3D camera on it. Let's solo clean layer, then grab a roto brush tool and double click on clean layer. Roto brush the car quickly, don't worry if the selection is not perfect. We have to remove car from a background and we don't need to select car perfectly. Once you are done selecting, set feather to 10 and then click on invert foreground, now click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Now go to content aware fill tab, copy my settings and hit on generate fill layer. Wait until analyzing is done, and once it's finished analyzing, toggle off solo on clean and fill layers. Move fill layer above clean layer. Now duplicate very bottom clip one more time and rename it to car only. Move car only layer above fill layer. Now scroll forward where the ground is totally collapsed and cut car only layer till that moment. Now make sure you are at the very beginning of that layer, right click on it and pre-compose it. Make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration is selected, then click on OK. Right click again, go to time and select, freeze frame, move car only layer all the way left, and cut the ending of it at that point. All we have to do now is mask out the car to isolate it from a background. Grab a pen tool and let's mask the car. Once you have masked the car, you can add some feather on it to smooth the edges, press M on your keyboard to open masks, now open mask 1 settings and let's add feather a bit, I will set it to 2. Let's begin making animation. At the very beginning of the car only layer press P on your keyboard to open position and click on position stopwatch icon. Now press R on your keyboard and click on rotation stopwatch icon. Press S on your keyboard and click on scale stopwatch icon. Now press U on your keyboard to open all created keyframes for position, rotation, and scale. Move your car position down like this. Change rotation as well and reduce scale a bit. Now go a few frames forward and move car position up like this. Set scale to around 110. And change rotation as well. Let's play back the video and check what we have got. Nice, now let's make the car dropping down again. Go to very end of this layer and right click on position and select reset. Reset scale and rotations as well. Let's play back again and check the effect. I want rotation to start a bit early at the end of the video, I will move last rotation keyframe backward a bit. Let's check again. Now enable motion blur on car only layer. Then select all keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to smooth the motion. That looks better. Go to very end of the car only layer and make sure to cut fill and clean layers at that moment to make our car visible again. The effect is almost done but, we have to fix one thing, we shouldn't see this car here, to make it coming out of the ground, first of all let's pre-compose all our layers into one except the very bottom clip. Now grab a pen tool and mask the ground like in this video. Press M on your keyboard to open mask, select inverted, now click on mask path stopwatch icon and go frame by frame backward and track the mask with the ground. 
Once you are done tracking, check the mask and if the car is visible like in my case, correct the mask until you don't see it. Open Mask 1 settings and add Feather a bit to smooth it. Lastly add Shake Effects, I will skip that part, check my Shakes tutorial on the channel, you can also get my Shake presets, I have created 16 unique Shake Effects, I will leave link in description. That's how it looks like with my Shakes. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.